what are some key pieces of advice you would give CEO to help them better leverage their team to get unstuck? <laughs> I think, so first of all, for me these days, it's much more the second than the first situation, right? I'm very, it's pretty rare for me to actually go into a company in that kind of CEO, CDO sort of role myself, right? Much more often going in more in a coaching role. Um, you know, it's such basic stuff that sometimes it sounds really pedantic, right? Most CEOs that I encounter have one of two problems. They either have lost the ability to listen, right? And so, you know, they go into every meeting feeling like they basically have to own the floor and do all the talking and, you know, and you can sort of see that, you know, and so coaching people a lot on, hey, you know, this person said this really smart thing. And I don't think you actually heard them because I think what you were doing was sitting there while they were talking, thinking about what you were going to say next, right? So trying to get, you know, especially look, CEOs have egos. So you got to figure out how to say that in a way that's not insulting, right? So they're either in that mode, right, where they can't hear anything anymore, or they're in a mode where they're very fearful and they're hearing too much, right? It's like every criticism, you know, is is something they have to sweat about and, you know, live through and, you know, whatever. It's like, you know what? Take a breath. Built a great company. You got a great team, right? So, you know, let's figure out, let's get this straightened out and get it. So it's like one kind of needs a little bit of a, you know, reality check and the other needs a pep talk, right? And I know it sounds really basic, but in a lot of cases to get that initial motion in place, it's all, that's all it takes. Um, and then it's more of a thing of uh, reacting to how the organization is changing and feeding the parts of change you're excited about and you want to see fed and moving forward. And then not discouraging change that's happening in other places or not, not discouraging the impetus for it, but maybe figuring out how to guide the energy. So it's moving in the right direction. Right. And so, and for me, it's just a lot of listening. It's funny because all my friends are like, how do you do this? Cause you never listen. You know, it's, 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 it's a lot of listening. Um, and it's a lot of sort of thinking about like, what, what did I know what they said? Did I hear what they really said? Right. You know, a lot of that kind of stuff, but then, encouraging and encourage 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 right um and sometimes look sometimes encouragement is blunt truth but a lot of times it's just you you can do this you got this you know it's heavy lifting but you can do it and i love that we don't have to do it alone even they say as a business owner ceo it's lonely at the top it doesn't have to be lonely uh, whether it's building a, a right built a right leadership team who can give you that feedback and be that honest or bringing someone like you, Jim in or an interim to do it together, to take that road together, to figure out who do I need to figure out and solve these problems and where are we going to go? And I appreciate that perspective.